Hey guys, it's me, Derek. Welcome to another episode of Let's Talk. And what we're going to talk about today is more things that is crazy in my life. Like, you know, still looking for a job, still fat, and still beautiful. One of those three is not true. So you, you, you be the judge on that. i give you a good hint, though. No, nah, I can't give you a hint because that would be cheating. Uh, but <laughs> anyways, um, I have been applying for the last couple of weeks. Um, I've applied for several jobs, a ton of jobs. Um, I've been making phone calls every single day. Uh, I'll wake up in the morning. As soon as I wake up, you know, hop on Indeed, Monster, Hive Means Jobs, uh, you name it, just to look for something. Uh, at this point in my life, I'm trying to find something temporary and temporarily until I you know, can make enough cash to get in my car and um, get up to Mansfield with my fiance. That's that's the short term goal right now. Um, the long term goal is once I get that money to get up there is to find a career, a job I can stay forever pretty much, hopefully. Not forever, hopefully I can retire eventually. Um, but that's, that's the short term goal as of right now. And uh, I woke up this morning, I've probably called at least 10 people have put in 20 some applications today. Um, jobs in this area are, are not common. Um, they're not. And they're not really common anywhere else. Uh, you would think so, maybe in the bigger cities. Um, but the most common jobs in this area are pretty much call centers and that's really it. Um, and I, I've put into those. Um, I've been trying my best to get save up the money to get up there, filed my taxes last week, which that was pretty good considering. Uh, so that's going to help. I've uh, been looking at vehicles. Um, one of the goals is to get a vehicle, get up there and get some money to get my fiance a vehicle or get hers fixed. Uh, I'd like to get her something different because, you know, the one she has, it's been sitting for about three years. Um, and I say a lot of it's just due to me, I'm not putting that before anything else, and I, I, I've come to notice that I've put myself ahead of the most important things, though I give, I think I give more than most people, and, you know, I care a lot, and that's what ultimately hurts me, but sometimes I look past the big, the small things, and sometimes the small things are actually big things. And, you know, it kind of sucks. And I'm hoping to fix that side of my life right now because I don't, I don't really need that. Um, I, I need a different outlook. I guess that's what I'd be saying. Um, I'm considering looking back into prospect of playing music again. Um, I used to love playing the bass. And <laughs> just last week on Facebook, um, somebody posted my old bass, my literal old bass with a um, uh, little Ampeg practice thing. And it was the same one, had my strap and had my Ernie Ball strap locks, had a Pink Floyd strap, and it was a Gresh Junior Rocker. And, you know, the bass was only 300 bucks whenever, and I had to sell that combo, uh, the bass and the Ampeg for $175. And that was about three years ago. And I finally seen it again. And it brought back all this nostalgic feelings. Like, it just hit me, like, super hard. I'm like, man, I'd love to play music again. But I don't know what I would play because I don't like half the music that's out on the radio anymore. Or mainstream stuff. I don't, I'm, it's not that I don't like it. It's just that it never, it doesn't click with me like it used to. I used to play mainly punk rock. Um, punk rock, pop rock, pop punk, and some metal. Um, and in high school, I was in a marching band and played uh, bass drum. I was in percussion, and you know I've always had a bass. And you know I kind of broke my heart whenever I lost it, but it was one of those things that I had to sacrifice it for the betterment, which hasn't really worked out. Um, but I'm hoping this week kind of picks up. Um, it is currently Tuesday. Um, in the last couple days, like I said, I've been making all these phone calls. So I'm hoping something comes up. 
Um, still trying to get my license back, uh, so I'm hoping this week that rectifies that. And I did have, an, have a job uh, offer, but I can't do anything until I pay $232 to uh, Hanging Rock Police Department <laughs> to get my license back, which sucks. really does. I'm hoping to get that. i am just got to come up with the money to do that. If I get that, I do, like I said, I do have a job offer. Uh, it's waiting for me. It just has to have that. And I'm assuming that's going to be a problem uh, until, you know, I do get a job with, which I might not be able to get a job without the license. And that's going to be the obstacle at this point. Um, and the, the reason why I lost my license was back uh, when things started getting worse, I was running on tags that were expired for about 30 days. And it kind of, I kind of fucked myself over because I didn't have the money to get tags. Um, but you know, <laughs> you, you probably see a theme like, Derek, you're terrible with money. I am terrible with money. Um, but it wasn't just m the money thing. It was just the fact that I was using it for things that we needed. And I put that on the back burner and it ultimately bit my ass. Um, but I ho hope to get that fixed, rectified, get a vehicle, uh, get a job, start saving money as fast as I can and get up there. Um, so I really miss my fiance and it like just the other day I had a pretty much a nervous breakdown just because it's kind of hard. It's kind of hard. And you know, I, I, I'm scared to death of loser. I don't think I will. Um, it's just one of those things. I've never been in a long distance relationship and, uh, yeah, I mean, some, you hear all the uh, horror stories about eh, this is not going to work out, but I'm pretty hopeful. Like, I, I, she, I trust her. She trusts me, and you know we're we're still planning a wedding. I have her wedding dress with me, um, and you know, but I'm hoping this week kind of gets picks things up because it's the start of February, and as much money as I have is around. Uh, at least eight hundred dollars um, to my name, which I'm not, which I don't get that until you know my tax refund comes in. But I'm hoping with that, and once I get a job, I can get things done quicker. Um, and like I said, I've been applying all day. Um, as far as last week in terms of content, there wasn't very much, um, as I promised. Um, now I. I can go ahead and tell you now I haven't been feeling good. I think I'm coming down currently with the flu. Um, but I have a lot of headaches. Uh, my body feels like it's on fire. And I've uh, been vomiting a little bit. So I'm going to go get checked out hopefully soon. I hope it's not the flu because I don't. I hate the flu. It's terrible. It's awful. Um, uh, <clears throat> I'm going to start walking here on uh, this Monday coming up. I go to my doctor, my surgeon, and he should be able to clear me for physical activities and everything. Um, main thing we're waiting is because we don't want to overdo it and cause internal bleeding. I guess you can bleed out. So I should know on f tomorrow. Yeah, tomorrow's the appointment with him. And we have an appointment with my other doctor on the 6th. But I'm going to go ahead and hop off here. i got to fill out a new application for uh, weight loss surgery. I got a call yesterday from my uh, doctor and they said they thought I can go ahead and try to do the weight loss surgery again. But other than that, I hope to hear from you guys soon. Be sure to hit that like and subscribe button. And I'm going to try to get some more stuff this week, hopefully. And I'll talk to you soon. Bye.